Hi, today I will tell you about two types of controllers that we produce. A professional controller with a Wi-Fi module and a simplified controller without a Wi-Fi module, but with the option to connect a remote control. The difference between these two systems is primarily that there are significantly more components here and we have better control over the bridge, bowl and DC motors. We can change their speed, we can measure their load and we can look at the logs over time to see how these DC motors wear out. So there are a lot more components here that are simply costly to assemble. Here we relied solely on relays so we are somewhat comparing this controller to Chinese products. The significant difference between these Chinese products is that this controller can handle interference because we have added many marking components both here and here on these individual channels. These tests that we have been conducting over the years have shown us that we need to add a few more components to make these controllers even more stable. A lot has changed in this controller even though you already know it a bit. We have a much larger heat sink which we had to pull out a bit. And besides the entire structure has been redesigned in terms of methods of cooperation with the motor. We increased the PWM signal frequency so the operating noise at low speeds is significantly lower. This controller, even in this version, can understand. Built-in limit switches like the ones we have here in a classic linear actuator. I pulled this line out here, but the built-in limit switches that were interfering with us through the diodes are now handled. So this controller has actually become very resistant. As for this controller, it is a much simpler and much cheaper controller, both in production and distribution. This external housing might be added over time. It is intentionally open here so that when it is in a deep box, each of the pins can be disconnected without any issues. It also, of course, has reverse connection protection and many other features. The algorithm is very similar. There are no modules, so the hybrid in this controller becomes active only after some time. This means I need to gather a sufficient amount of logs while working with the given controller and the entire setup under specific weather conditions to determine that these ranges are for standard operation and that the activation and deactivation of the motors should be active in such a range and let's say that at different temperatures or different uh, sunlight exposures it should behave differently and we then use an algorithm for calculating the position of the sun in classical astronomy this one is much softer here kind of astronomical meaning the hybridization is much weaker because there is no clock here and we don't set a clock here this one has a Wi-Fi module, so it allows for greater hybridization besides that. These modules, apart from being in a different location, actually have identical functionalities. I am connecting all the peripheral devices that I will need. I will show you how to connect them using that example. I have sensors, I have anemometers. Both analog and digital anemometers can be connected simultaneously to both this controller and that one. Limit switches and additionally some peripherals that we can add. I specifically took out two relays here to show you that this relay test can be done easily. If I connect motors larger than these, eight ADC motors, then this relay will probably wear out faster than usual because it's not like it will fail immediately, but it will definitely wear out faster so I can pick it out, remove it and replace it. Just like I can simply choose not to use them and remove them completely. If I have channels connected here and I'm only controlling external motors, for example, AC. Therefore, this controller is great for installations where we use only AC. In that case, all these bridges we have here are unnecessary. All control mechanisms, log collection, etc. are unnecessary because with AC everything is external and there's little we can do about it.